Hello everyone. Today, we will walk you through the PBR material models in Light Tracer Render. Get ready to explore the principled material. This versatile, multi-layer model simplifies your life by merging everything into one easy-to-use shader. Inspired by Disney's principled model, it ensures compatibility with both 3D rendering software and game engines. This all-in-one shader allows you to create a wide variety of materials. The base layer offers a user-controlled blending of diffuse, metallic, specular sheen, and transparency. Furthermore, you can enhance your material with additional clear coat and iridescence layers. All of these settings can be configured on the Properties tab. The most important parameters here are metalness and roughness. The metalness value determines how metallic a material is. Non-metallic materials use zero, whereas metallic materials use one. The values in between are mostly used for metallic variations like rusty metal. The roughness value determines how rough a material is. Zero means not rough at all mirror reflection. One is completely diffuse. Let's set up two materials for a sofa. Metallic legs and fabric upholstery for the seat. Starting with the legs, as mentioned earlier, metals do not transmit light but reflect it. In the right panel, open the properties for the chair legs and find the metalness and roughness parameters. To achieve a metallic look, set the metalness to 1 for a mirror shine. Set the roughness to 0. Next to these parameters, find the surface color icon. This opens a panel where you can select the color of the legs. Let's set it to dark gray. Moving on to the seat upholstery, which is dielectric, so we need to set the metalness to 0. A roughness of 0 gives a plastic shine. For fabric, a rough texture is needed, so set roughness to 1. For fabric, there's a special parameter called fabric sheen, which produces soft, velvety reflection near edges, ideal for simulating materials like cloth. Sometimes you may need to copy an existing color from one object to another. To do so, go to the color parameter of the chair's upholstery, expand the panel, find the hexadecimal color code, and copy it using the Cottrell All C Hotkeys. Paste this value into the sofa's color code with Cottrell V Hotkeys. Now these objects have identical colors. If the object has a UV map, you can use additional textures. Let me show you how to add a normal for our material. Click on Base Normal to open the upload window. Choose any previously downloaded normal file and open it. It can even be in JPG format. The scale and position of the map can be edited in the UV Transform section. In this video, we covered the differences between metals and dielectrics and shown how to sort up them in Light Tracer Render. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new tutorial videos.